morning all. Welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Fummy in the Philippines. Well, this is day two of the bridge build. What a great fucking day this is going to be. Bob and I are sore as shit, I'll tell you. All right, so Bob got the uh, timber this morning. This is real good stuff. It's st timber right from the bottom. Okay, so when I say from the bottom, it's the bottom of the tree here, and it's compressed down. Because of the weight of the tree, it compresses down, and it's very hard and dense. The stuff up the top is just soft as anything. It's too flexible. It's like balsa wood. It's absolute shit. You know, that's why I see in storms, the tops will break off of the trees. That's because it's just like balsa wood. But at the bottom, it's just so condensed down, and it's a dark colour, which you can see here. Look, nice dark colour. So he got these for us, eight pieces, and they're supposed to be four by four. Most of them are. This one's only three and a half by three and a half. But, um, you know, you're in the Philippines, mate. They cut it with a uh, chainsaw. This one's four and a half by five. But, um, like I said, they don't go to... They don't have lumber mills here where you actually, you know, like cut a fucking tree down and put it through, you know, and it cuts it. You know, it doesn't do that shit. That doesn't happen here. You know, it's all done by a chainsaw out on the field. So it depends on how drunk the guy is on how, how good your wood's going to be. Now, the reason I say that, you know, oh, you fucking racist bastard. Well, that's... We had videos which before that fucking Vincent Tough fucking took the, Vince, took the channel down. Vincent Tough. So it's fucking tough for you. Um, we were cutting down all the trees along the, the, along the roadway coming in into the farm because one of the coconuts fell down, hit mum, knocked her out. And I said, well, cut the fucking things down. You know, I've been telling you for how long? Of course, no one listens to me. Mama gets injured, then, oh, I bet we cut the trees down. Oh, fucking duh. Duh. So um, we got the chainsaw guys in. They cut the first tree. They dropped that one down. Beep. Then they're sharpening up the saw. Then one of the guy walks over to the uh, Surrey Surrey store, buys, buys a bottle of Tandawai. That's the uh, brandy. And um, they sit down all having a drink. Fucking 8 o'clock in the morning. Serious? Fuck my dog. All right, so anyway, we've got that. I've got the bench here. I've got the saw. We're going to pull them out. They're 10 foot long. We need nine nine foot long cut in half four and a half feet so i'm just going to cut them in half put them on the bench here cut them in half with the chainsaw done and once they're on here then we'll actually once it's all finished and lined up we've got the chalk line yes a real fucking chalk line can you believe that a, it wasn't even a gift a real oh somebody knows about the behovel know that oh, i bought today a fucking chalk line for christmas you fucking lucky bastard so um the reason we have chalk lines, of course, is because it makes a line, but chalk doesn't, um, it just leaves the dust and it wipes off. Well, the guy who built our maid's room over here, the maid's room and the, uh, the showers and all that stuff for the staff outside in the feed room, he actually made up his own and he uses sump oil. He has sump oil on the um, string and he stretches it out and goes fucking ka-ping and it leaves a beautiful line in sump oil. And it's like, okay. Seriously, no fucking shit. Right, so where are we up to, guys? Well, this is settled pretty good. I said we can see where we need some more sand once it's settled down. We can see where we need some more. I'm not really too interested because this is the, the drive-on ramp. You know, so this is the main thing is here. So this is the post all in here. This is going to be the guide rails through here. I said this is, um, this is four and a half feet. The mower deck is four feet, so we've still got three inches either side. And uh, it doesn't matter because it's not going to be anything down the bottom here that it can catch on. Even if I drunk and I fall off, you know, and come on the side here a bit. It's like, uh, it's not going to be an issue. It will still be okay. And we're going to put all this down. Put all the wood down will be the first part of the project. Put all the wood down and we get it up to here and we jam it in nice and tight. All this will lock into place quite nicely. Then we can start putting in the, the dam wall like we did at the front here. Put the dam wall in and all that's going to be filled up with sand. You know, it's a lot to fill up, but who cares? You know, like, fuck me, it's only 1,600 or something pesos for a uh, three metre truckload. You know, so um, we'll just dump the bastard in there. So the whole idea, this will all be timber all through here, up to here. All right, and then this then will be where you, you come along here and you steer off to your left. And it will all be sand all through here, compacted. So you can actually drive along here and off. So it won't be too bad. So this will all be piled up with sand here. This will all be piled up. 
and it will work quite nicely. So it's recycling an aqueduct, which is no longer needed, into a bridge. And uh, we'll run string lines down through there. We'll cut it all off with a chainsaw later. Make it more nice and sexy, Lexi. Put steel, steel flat inch bar, one inch bar, all the way down through there. And they can basically be nailed into every one. We'll do that. So uh, it won't move. There's no way in the world it will move. So um, like I said, I'm quite pleased. So that's our work for today. This is our work for today. I think it's turning out quite good. Turning out quite good. Like I said, Bob and I are a bit sore though, old men. But we work on the farm. We're hobby farmers. And we work. You know? Hobby farmers work. So remember guys, when you're a hobby farmer, don't let your dream die. You can do it too, right? Don't let your dream die. And it's a lot of work. Oh yeah, but you don't fucking rush it. You know, like, so what if it takes a couple of years? People say, oh, I'd like to have that fucking place. Yeah, you can, but just, it takes time. You get there, do it right, do it properly. Secret is, do it once and do it properly. Okay, do it once. Well, if you're going to build a house, and you're going to put a roof on it. Okay, you, you want steel. You want good steel and you want good welds jobs and you want good anchor points. Then you want to insulate the roof. Then you want to put good long sheets not that little shit stuff that we use on the fucking chicken house. Well, not the chicken house, the um, the goat house. You know, that's, um, oh, this is real cheap shit. It's as thin as a, uh, fucking bug got me in the eye. It's as thin as a uh, Coke can. You know, this stuff over here. Thin as a Coke can, out of a million. But uh, it won't rust, so that is the best part of it for the goat house. But someone asked me, you know, if you're going to build a house, what type of roof would you have? Yeah, I'd have a steel roof. But um, I'll have it a steel. In the Philippines, they like to put the trusses about two metres apart, you know? And just because you live in the Philippines doesn't mean that you have to do exactly what the locals do, right? If you want to put it like the Western world, 800, 800 mil apart, then you do it 800 mil apart. If they want to do it two metres, well, let them fucking do it two metres, you know? Who gives a fuck, you know? But it's like our house. When, when Chick built that, I said to her, right, I want... The, uh, the roof trusses in and I want them at least between 800 and a metre, no more, about 800 is what I prefer. And I want lots of, um, lots of the roof to be anchored down. So when they put the concrete in for the bricks, we've got all the steel going all the way down for the blocks, all the way through, filled up with cement. So it's all a solid wall. So I said, I want lots of anchor points on the top into the cement, like not short, you know, don't stick it in six fucking inches. You know, I want it down, like two feet down into the cement, and they weld it all the way around the side of the house to keep the roof down. So that's what it's called. It's like, it's like cy cyclone proof your house. You know, in Australia, and probably in the States and different places as well, depends where you live, is what cyclone rating your house has to be built with. So if you live down in Melbourne in the southern states, there's no fucking cyclones down there. So they build a house and they just put a couple of straps on it, hold the roof down, you know, that's fucking all it is, you know. But when you go further north you go, of course, then you go up into the cyclone ratings. And that's where all the, the, the uh, frames of the house has to be fully bolted down, strapped down, the roof has to have extra support. And it's all extras, extras, extras. You just do the same. But some people, when they build, they just they say, well, we'll be in the Philippines, I'll build the same as the Filipinos do. Well, you don't have to, guys, okay? And if you've got an engineer who's fucking doing your house, you stay in control of the job, right? Don't let him dictate to you what he wants to do, right? Like our bathroom, for example, we've got a fucking twin spa tub, we've got a, a steam room, we've got twin showers and a toilet. Now, they don't even, they only have a squat toilet, the guys who build this, they, they only have a fucking squat toilet in their house. So how the fuck would they know even what a bloody steam room is? They're like, what the fuck's a steam room? So well, it's like a sauna, only it's steam. You know, a big generator steam comes out. You know, enclosed room. See, they're building, they're building stuff that they don't even fucking know. They don't even use it. They don't even have it, guys. You know, they don't even fucking have it. You know, the windows of the houses are like um, uh, a lot of them. Seriously, they just you see not well. You see the hovels. He's one that he's done. Right, it's just got the bamboo fucking windowy type things here. Okay, that's it. Some don't even have that. They just have strips of bamboo running along at different angles so to stop people from climbing through. That's it. So if you're building your house, the point I'm getting to, you're in control. It's your money. It's your project. Yes, he's the engineer, but the point is, make sure they do it right. And I tell you now, there wouldn't be an expat in the Philippines who's built a house who hasn't walked around pulling his fucking hair out. I tell you now, there wouldn't be fucking one. 
And if someone says, oh, yeah, I didn't have a problem with him, well, maybe because you're living like fucking Robinson Crusoe, you know? Like, just because you live on an island, you'd have to live like Robinson Crusoe, you know? Fuck my dog. All right, I'm going to go in and have breakfast because Bob and I have got a lot of work to do today. So I'm going to catch us all later on and see the video out tonight on part day two of the Build of the Bridge. See you later, guys, and remember, don't give up your dream. See ya.